This video was brought to you by Squarespace. Hey you, do you need a website? Perhaps a Christmassy themed website? Christmas sponsorship? Well, if you're like me and you don't know how to build a website, not one single bit, then you need Squarespace. Squarespace makes building a website super easy. I used it for my website, Arlo Recommends. All you gotta do is pick a template, customize it to your liking, and there you go, you got a website. And from there, creating content and stuff is incredibly easy. When I'm creating posts, I can embed pictures, I can embed video and social media posts. I can link my website with my social media, which saves me a bunch of time I can schedule posts, which saves me even more time. And all the while, I can use the analytics feature to keep track of who's coming to my website, where they're going, what pages are most popular, all that stuff. And even on top of that, Squarespace has got loads of super powerful extensions to use. So like really the sky's the limit. To try out Squarespace for yourself, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash Arlo to save 10% off your first website or domain. And now for today's recommendation, Whoa! Dryer balls. The idea that you gotta put these sheets in your dryer that cover your clothes with chemicals just so they can be soft is absurd. You literally just throw some balls in there and they do the same thing. They come in tons of different shapes and materials and everyone should use them. Thanks again to Squarespace. Now, the video time to do it now. Wishing for it. Silver bells. Santa smells, it's Christmas time in the lanes. Santa sleigh, it comes this way. Christmas time is for you and me. And the stockings hung with care and joy and chocolate on the tree. And Rudolph coming right through the door. That's what Christmas time is for. It's Christmas time and silver bells and holly snowman time. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired now. I mean, hello everybody! I'm really sorry that this is very late and there has not been a lot of this whole uh, a festive thing yet this year. I've been really sick. I've been really sick and not able to do much at all, and it's a bummer. For Christmas, I want to not be sick anymore. But I'm doing much better now. I'm feeling better. Look, I'm not even coughing! Not even coughing! Crazy! So now it's time for the wish list video. We do this every year. I'm gonna go over my wishes for 2023. All the stuff that I hope, the, the mostly Nintendo related stuff that I hope will happen next year. So if you've been a good little kid this year, then pull up a chair by the fire and, and here is the video starting. So let's just start off by addressing this. What do you get for the man who has everything? Every one of my wish list videos up to this point has just kind of like culminate, just like the, the ultimate wish. You know, it's always at the end, but like just overall, like just my wish list as a whole, the concept of the wish list for the most part has just been for me to wish for Pikmin 4. That's really, it's really, it's the main thing here. So how do you have a wish list video when Pikmin 4 has finally been announced? Oh, and trust me, I'm, I'm still, I'm still afterglowing here. It's been a good amount of time and like I'm still just on cloud nine. So if I can't cap off this wish list video with Pikmin 4, I can at least address my wishes for Pikmin 4 coming next year. Yes. Well, for one, I hope it does come next year. That's a really big one. I mean, like when you say it's coming next year, but you barely show us any footage at all. I'm like, okay, but is it really coming next year? I don't really know. So all I can do is wish. That yes, pl just please. Like we've, yeah, we've we've waited long enough. Just 2023, even if it's at the end of 2023, I don't even care. Just, <laughs> let's just have Pikmin 4 in 2023, please. Also, Miyamoto, as you know, he's scaring me with his talk about like controls or like camera perspective or something. I have to hope that that does not 
end up being some kind of gimmicky thing that negatively affects the game or oversimplifies it. I'm, you know, I'm feeling fairly optimistic that it won't, but I have to make that wish. I have to do that because it's it's very, very important. Uh, and finally, you know, I hope that it sells well. Obviously, my poor little Pikmin has never, I'm gonna say Miyamoto's poor little Pikmin because he thought the first one was gonna be a, just the next Mario. And so like he feels the pain just as much as we do whenever a Pikmin game comes out and it just doesn't sell that well. I mean, considering the low install base of the Wii U, Pikmin 3 didn't even really sell like that, that poorly maybe. So I'm hoping the Switch makes it better. People buy it. Pikmin's a series that's good. Get more Pikmin games, all that stuff. You you know what I'm saying? I just hope it sells well. Moving on, here's another one we get every year. Switch Pro, Switch Plus, whatever it is. I'm so sick of my old Switch. I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of new games coming to the system and feeling like they barely run. I'm sick of feeling like the developers are being held back in their visions because of the limited hardware. Just, just a little boost, come on. Just a little FPS boost, maybe resolution, just something, please. I just, I'm begging you here. Look, this is my wish list, <laughs> come on. On top of that though, um, I know Nintendo has been talking about like wanting the Switch generation to last a good long time. I'm still thinking like seven years is a perfectly long time. That's still longer than it used to be. Seven seems solid. So if the Switch lasts for seven years, that means that the follow-up, the successor, would be in 2024. So um, if that's true, my wish is that we start to hear whisperings of that in 2023. I'm not necessarily expecting a big, a big reveal or anything. I more just mean like, I want it to start feeling obvious that like, oh yeah, it's coming. Like, you know, you can tell based on like what Nintendo is saying and telling the shareholders and all that stuff that's like, all right, we're, we're getting there. We're definitely getting to the next gen here. I mean, if anything, it's just fun to have a new generation, you know, like it comes with its own <laughs> problems and issues and, and things like that. But uh, I just like new stuff. I, I like new stuff. What can I say? And I want like a slightly upgraded Switch that just runs the games better. But like, obviously, I also love the idea of a new Nintendo system that we get a Mario game that looks like a PS4 game, which is old, but still better than what we got now. So fingers crossed. Next wish, I want to see NSO do more. Um, I think this year they really were just skating by on the N64 drops. Like they just kind of been drip feeding those to us. And I guess to Nintendo, that's enough added value to the service, but I, I'm, I want to see another platform. I want to see Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, that kind of thing. Even that to me seems like kind of the bare minimum next step, you know? I want them to just inject another just great big glob of value into this, into the, the thingy, the service because it is still a little bit expensive for what you get, especially compared to other companies and what they're offering. So, you know, I just, yeah. I just want us to eventually reach a point where we say NSO is a good deal. And if NSO carries over, if all those classic games carry over to the next Switch, whenever that comes around, or the next Nintendo system, whenever that comes around, we can just say, oh yeah, right off the bat, it's still good. We didn't have to redo anything. Just there it is, it's good value. You hook up your account to it, you pay for it, and you're happy. That's what I want. Next wish, I am so ready. I am so ready for some new 3D Mario. Obviously, I want it to be Odyssey 2. It's silly they haven't done Odyssey 2. They have the framework for an amazing Mario game. Just put new ideas into it. Call it a day. I don't understand why it hasn't happened, but whatever it is, even if it isn't Odyssey 2, you know, enough time has passed that it would, doesn't even have to be an asset reusing sequel to Odyssey. They could have made an entirely new, ground up, brand new game by now. At this point, I almost don't even care what it is. I just want something. It's time. Like the Switch is selling so well and Mario games sell so well. Why would they not want to capitalize on that and give us another one? And Bowser's Fury was awesome. So good. I loved it so much, but like that was still only a taste. You know, it's a very, very short experience. Can't even really call it a game. I mean, it is a game. You know what I'm saying? That was not enough to be like the second 3D Mario on Switch. Like, no, that was a that was a teaser. I want another heapin' helpin' full course of 3D Mario before the Switch is done. Maybe at this point they won't because they'd rather just hold it for the next Switch if it is coming in 2024. 
So I don't really know, but 2023 seems like a just a fine, really perfectly fine time to get a new 3D Mario, please. Speaking of Mario, I really do want that Mario movie to be good. And I think maybe it's not even just that I want it to be good. It's that I don't want to be the only person who thinks it's bad if you know what I'm saying. I mean, like, just based on what we've seen in the trailers, I think I already have a good idea of what the movie's gonna be like and how much I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm just, like, I don't know. I wanna come come away not just being like, oh, it was, you know, some cool, uh, cool visual stuff and some cool references, but eh, you know what I mean? I wanna at least have fun with it. I at least wanna walk away and be like, yeah, that was a good Mario movie right there. Will it happen? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Whatever ha See, that's the problem. I gotta be honest, whatever I think about it, I, I'm gonna say what I think about it, so that's why I'm a little scared. <laughs> that's why I'm a little bit scared. We'll see, don't have to worry about that yet. Next wish, I want some good Scarlet and Violet DLC, you know? I didn't really like Sword and Shield, but the DLC for it was like the best part of the game. That was like the one like kind of redeeming thing. I ended up really enjoying the DLCs because it's just, new areas to explore and a bunch of legendaries to get and stuff. It was just cool. And then Arceus was the first modern Pokemon game that I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I love this game. I adore this game. And then they didn't give me DLC. <laughs> I was really disappointed. You know, I'm invested in the world. I've got a good team. I'm really just enjoying it and the world and all that stuff. I want more. I want more to do with it. I want another just good sizable expansion with a cool new story, some new, maybe some new legendaries to catch, new areas or something um, because this this is it this is the opportunity for me to be really really satisfied with some Pokemon DLC I want to see it happen I mean I don't see why it wouldn't happen although I said the same thing about Arceus so I really I don't even know <laughs> next wish boy oh boy that darn old Metroid Prime 4 huh <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It was restarted at the beginning of 2019. At the beginning of 2023, that's four years. That, that's There are very big games that are made in four years. Five years is like, whoa, that's a really big game right there. So even if it does take five years, that's, that's, that's a long time. That's a super long time. Even if that happens, that means that in 2023, at some point, we have to be due for some things, some little teeny, tiny little teasery thing, please. I have wished for this every year and every year it becomes more and more ridiculous that we have to keep wishing for it. And it's not even like this is a game that they like, you know, cause some games they'll start development kind of quietly, kind of behind the scenes. They'll kind of mess around with stuff for a while. You know, Pikmin is probably the same way. They didn't like, they weren't developing like in earnest to like straightforward, no, we're going for the goal here. You know, sometimes they kind of mess around. Thing about Metroid Prime 4 though, is they, they told us when they restarted. They announced the game ahead of time, which makes me think they were very confident that this was a high priority, get it done as fast as possible thing. Then they told us when they restarted it. So like they're keeping us, they're keeping us appraised, they're keeping us updated. And that's gotta mean that they really are developing the heck out of it, right? So I mean, it could have hit some production troubles. I really, certainly, really, <laughs> really, really hope not. But if not, then it's just like 2023. It has to be the year. It has to. It has to be the year we get something. And no, not a banner image on a Twitter profile. I mean, uh, an eight second teaser trailer with no gameplay. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. Whatever it is though, yeah, just, just something, please. And, uh, and you know, speaking of Retro Studios, I, I think I'm I think I'm done. Did I, I don't even, did I say this last year? I can't remember, but I, I, every year I hope to see a project that was not canceled. There were all these rumors about projects that were in the works, you know, they haven't put out a game in what, like eight years now or something, like enough time for them to have made two games and we still have nothing. And so I'm just like, I've always hoped that some game in there didn't get canned and they were working on it and we can get that in addition to Metroid Prime 4 and I'm done, I give up. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think there is a game that didn't get canceled. In fact, it's been so long since I've started wishing that they could have just created a new game by now. They could still reveal at any second some other game that they were working on alongside Metroid Prime 4. Like, oh no, this wasn't a non-canceled game. This is just, this is just a new game that we just started making since all those games got canceled. 
I don't really know. I just hate the idea that it takes 10 years for them to put out a new game and it's only Metroid Prime 4. I mean, obviously that's the game I want them to be making, but I just, just something else would be nice too. You know, they've got a great, you know, a lot of really great titles under their belt. It'd be just nice to get another little taste of retro, you know? And um, this probably isn't as realistic, but it would also be nice to see something else from Next Level Games. Um, you know, since the acquisition, we've gotten uh, Mario Strikers, which was very cool, really cool surprise and all that stuff. And I don't know how many games they are developing simultaneously. Is it more than one? I, we really don't know. But if it is, it would just be fun to see something else by them next year. Just see what else they're gonna do. See how the Nintendo acquisition is going to affect them. Are they gonna pick up any other old series that Nintendo has lying around? I don't know, who knows? Another one that I wish every year, but you know, again, it's worth mentioning. Um, just something big and new from Nintendo, like a single player, just like a new IP, but like single player, not party games, not multiplayer, just, just like a big new single player IP. I really think that'd be cool. Or even if it is multiplayer, you know, like Splatoon was an awesome new IP, but you know, that's, it's also got really good single player stuff too. So even if it does have multiplayer, just, I want it to be something big and meaty and cool that a bunch of people are just like, whoa, this looks really cool. This is a really cool new thing from Nintendo. I want to just see something, just something new. I want to see them take a risk. I want to see them get some really creative director or creative team in their ranks and just give them the ability to just do something. The Switch is really getting old. It's got such a big install base. And you know what, actually, this ties in with uh, my final little wish here. Since the Switch is winding down, it really is winding down. I really think like the titles are probably not gonna come as fast in the last couple years of its life, but the it's such a healthy system. The install base is so big and so dedicated that like whatever Nintendo wants to do, now's the time. This is your last chance. You don't know if the next system is gonna sell as well. You don't know when the next time is gonna be that you have this really big dedicated install base. So like, if you've got any big new ideas, if you wanna kickstart a new IP, now's the time. You've got an audience for it, you know? If you want to uh, revive an old struggling classic, you know, a series that's never really sold very well, now's the time. Or even just more sequels, just to capitalize on the big install base. Like whatever it is, the last couple years, like Nintendo loves to just kind of slack at that point because they can just coast because they're making loads of money. They're still making money from console sales. They're making money from all the third party stuff. People are still buying their evergreen titles. So they don't really have to do much, but it's like, no, no. Now is the time for action. You have this system, it is primed. This opportunity is just amazing. I did a whole video about this. How the Switch is to this golden opportunity. Whatever you want to do, now is the time to do it. If you want to test the viability of a new thing or an old thing or anything, the Switch is the time. So to cut that off, I could ramble forever. 2023, I want to see some weird stuff. I want to see Nintendo just start throwing stuff at the wall. I don't want things to start dying down. I don't want things to get stale and predictable. I want to see some stuff. I want to see some weirdness. I want to see that some of that classic Nintendo weirdness. A wee little handful of non-Nintendo wishes before we wrap this up. Play Dead. I really, really, really want the next Play Dead game. And this is another one of those things that makes it into most of my wish lists. And every year it just kind of comes and goes. And you know, it's cool that we got Somerville. That's not, you know, it's one of the people from Play Dead. So it's kind of a thing I haven't played it yet because you know, it's, it's quarter four, I'm too busy. But like Play Dead is working on some sort of sci-fi thing and Inside is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm waiting patiently here. I've been so good. I've been so good this year, please. Can 2023 please just be the year we get the new Play Dead game? I'd be so happy. Next, Elden Ring DLC. Like, obviously, the game is great. It's too big. I don't actually need DLC at all. Being completely selfish when I say, yeah, give me, give me more. Give me some DLC for Elden Ring. Um, at the time of this recording, Game Awards are coming up. If there is an announcement, it's pretty likely to be there. Um, but whatever the case, at this moment, just, just, I just give me, give me more, give me more Elden Ring. Put it in my mouth. I'm gonna eat it <laughs> right now. And finally, where in the heck? Where in the wild blue heck 
is the Bloodborne remaster. Or not even a master. We, we just, we just, like, we just want, just a patch would have been great. I would still settle for just a PS4 Pro patch of Bloodborne. Just so we can play it at a higher resolution and frame rate. Like, it's really all we need, but just like, whatever, whatever Sony is thinking about this. I haven't played Bloodborne, but now I've played Elden Ring, getting super into Dark Souls. Now I really want to play Bloodborne, because everybody loves Bloodborne, but I don't want to play the old version if there's a new version coming. So just like, whatever Sony's doing, 2023 is the year. Just do it, whatever, just whatever. Whether it's a patch or a remaster or a remake, Whatever, just give us the Bloodborne, please. <laughs> We're just, please, please. I want to play the Bloodborne, please. Well, that's it for my 2023 wish list. So now let's go over my 2022 wish list and see what came true. See what presents I opened. Christmas metaphor, you get the idea, let's just do it. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave out some repeats and like wishes about things that ended up getting delayed. So here's the, here's the gist of it. I wished that the lineup in 2022 would be really good. I didn't want everything to get delayed. Um, it did end up being pretty good. Only one game got delayed and that was Zelda. But boy, that was the main one, wasn't it? <laughs> that, was the, really the, that was really the most important one. So eh, kind of a half win. I wished that Splatoon 3 would have a more substantial campaign Eh, kinda. In ways, it's more substantial, but kinda not really. And then I wanted a bigger salmon run. Kinda. There are new things about it, but it's not quite what I was hoping for, so eh, kinda. I wanted Kirby in the Forgotten Land to, like, not be too linear. I wanted some sort of open element. Didn't really get that, but the game was really super amazing anyway, so who cares? I wished for Legends Arceus to be good, and it was. I loved it, I adored it muchly, so I, that very much came true. I wished for more Metroid Dread, maybe just in the form of DLC or something. Nah, we didn't get that. There were rumors about Metroid Prime 1 getting a remaster. I wanted it to be Metroid Prime Trilogy instead of just one. Instead, we got nothing, so that's, you know, pretty much standard at this point. I wished for a Pikmin 4 announcement and got it. Just saying, just saying that again. That's it, just, that's it, yeah, that happened. It happened, I got it. Then for Pikmin Bloom, I wished that it would not die. That happened, it didn't die, that's good. I also wished for it to improve. They have kind of improved it in a lot of ways, but not in like some really core ways. So I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it kind of came true, sorta. Still seems like it's not gonna last long, though. No. Oh, look at that, I wished for Mario Odyssey too. That sounds familiar. No, I didn't get that. Uh, then Mario and Luigi, even if we didn't like get a game, I just wanted to know what's up, you know? I just want like some sort of announcement or statement or something, just letting us know like the state of the series. Did not get that. I wanted to know what else Next Level Games was getting up to, because at that time, all we had recently was Luigi's Mansion 3, and we got a whole game. We got Super Mario Strikers, so which was a big returning fan favorite and everything, so awesome. I wish that we could hear about a retro project. Also sounds familiar, doesn't it? No, we didn't get that. Then there was that big DK rumor, and I, my wish was that if the rumor was true and we're getting a big DK, a new DK, I just wanted it to be like really, really special, whether it's 3D or like as good as the last few games. There was no DK at all, so whatever. <laughs> at the beginning of 2022, we already pretty much knew like everything that was coming out that year for the most part. So I was hoping that 2022 would be filled with 2023 announcements and Nah, that didn't really happen. I feel like Pikmin 4 is like the only game that was like announced this year for next year. At least like, I don't know, like, right? Am I forgetting something? Whatever the case, there's definitely not a lot. We don't know very much that's coming in 2023 that wasn't like already, you know, Zelda delayed or whatever. And then I had a couple non-Nintendo wishes. I wished for Resident Evil Revelations 3. We did not get that. However, we're still getting a load of awesome Resident Evil content. We had Shadows of Rose. We got RE4 remake next year, so it's still pretty good. And my number one non-Nintendo wish was an early copy of Elden Ring. I got that. I got that and it made me so happy and I put out a timely review and it was amazing. It was amazing. It feels so good to wish for something so hard. And I got an early copy of Elden Ring and Pikmin 4 announcement. I mean, my gosh, my gosh, could you ask for a better year of wish fulfillment? 
Well, that is it. Please head down to the comments and let us know what you are asking Reggie Claus for in the year of 2023. And, and, hold, I mean, just hold on a second. I got a, a big and here. And, holly jolly Christmas folly, stockings on the joy, and Christmas time for all the, the, the girls and boys. Oh, Santa hats and garlands. Silver bells a lot. And if you eat some Christmas chocolate, don't get a tummy ache. And Christmas time is mine. My rhymes are worse than usual this year. Wow. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Remember last year I showed you what I got my nephew. I got I got stuff for my nephew again. Hold on. And remember, like, you, you, you can't tell him, okay? You can't. You got to keep it a secret. I got him some uh, Minecraft books. He really likes Minecraft. Big, big, huge surprise. He's six and he loves Minecraft. Wait, hold on, does that, th turn off the green screen. Yeah, there you go. Now, does that look, okay, yeah, okay. What else we got? Dogman board game, didn't even know that was a thing. Loves Dogman, Captain Underpants, all that stuff. Awesome. And he is super big on astronomy, so I got him an ast astronomy calendar so he can like mark on it and stuff and look at the planets and all that. And uh, yeah. I'm pretty excited. It's so good to give presents, you know? It's so good to give presents, you know? I really like it. Oh, stock, whoops, hold on. Oh, stockings hung by silver bells and presents hung with glee.